In this InDesign tutorial, I'm gonna go over one of the most basic ways to incorporate text into your InDesign documents, and that's by importing pre-existing text. So here I'm gonna to go to File and Open. In Chapter 5, Folder 1, I'm gonna open up this InDesign file. And if I zoom out, I have three pages here three different ways to import text. So I'm gonna zoom in on the first one and it says make a single column text frame, then import the supplied text. So a single column is just taking your type tool, clicking and dragging, and as soon as you let go, you're gonna see a text cursor. So I already have a text file typed out, ready to bring in here. I can hit Command D for a document, just like I do with photos, now I can do it with type. Go to chapter five, folder one, and I'll bring in this text. Open it, boom, there's my text. And I can do editing from that point on, but that's how you bring in your text. Okay, if I click outside, hold my space bar for the hand tool. Now on the second page it says make a three column text frame, then import the supplied text. So when you first start, you're always gonna get a single column. So I'll just click and drag right here. I'll go to my black arrow, and this is just one big open column. So what I can do is select a text frame with my black arrow, go to Object, Text Frame Options, or Command B for a box. I'll turn on my preview. And the number of columns that I want right here should be three. Okay, I want the spacing between my columns of text to be a little bit wider, and that is my gutter. So I'm gonna highlight that, that's the field we're looking at, and I can hit the up arrow just to separate those columns a little bit more, right there, and I'll click OK. Now I take my type tool, click I've got my entry point right there command D for a document and we'll go with the second one there's my text it enters from the upper left goes down the first column enters the upper left of the second column enters the upper left of the third and I have a little plus it means I just have additional text I copied way more than what I needed just so I can show you how it fills this out. Now the thing about multiple columns like this is if you hit W, it starts to look like a real jagged mess all over the page. So what a lot of magazines or newspapers will do is when you click on your text, you can hit Command T for type, but that only brings up your character panel. So I'm gonna hit Command Option and T for my paragraph panel. And I'm gonna click the fourth button, justify my text. Now when I click outside, all my text has this columnar look to it. It's got a straight edge there, a straight edge there. Um, the text editing wasn't perfect, you know, it says to sleep after, the word dinner should go right there, but you get the idea, it's just copied and placed text. Um, like here, less as a governess. Well, that should come down here. So there was something going on with the text from the original file, but now I've got text edited here. You always want to hit W to see if there's extra text there. And I'm going to go down to the third page. Make two separate text frames, then import the text into the first frame, then link the overflow text. So here's what you do. I'm going to take my type tool, drag one text frame. Then I'll start up here and drag a totally separate text frame. Like that. Okay, if I click in the first one, Command D for a document, we'll go with the third. There's all my text. But notice when I click outside, my text entered here, but then it just stopped. There's additional text to this story. 
So if I wanted my text to come down in one frame and then jump and continue into another, you click on this little plus right there, click. And now I click with that link right up here near the upper left and my text continues. Okay, the little plus is gone. I don't have additional text. It flowed down to the bottom and linked into the next box. So here's what's cool. If I press and hold on the bottom and I push this up, you can see how it flows into the next field right there. Hit W and there's my text overflow. Flowed right into the next box. So that is how you can import text into a file. Just drag a text frame with your type tool, Command D for a document. And if you have a type or a text based document, it will bring your type right into InDesign where you can do all your editing. So I can take my type tool, click, Command A for select all, Command Option T for my paragraph panel and justify my text right there. Now this looks a little odd because again, my original text file wasn't edited correctly, but you get the idea. You can instantly bring in text into an InDesign file. Great shortcut for working on large compositions.